Hey, what's up? My name is PJ and in this short video I'm going to show you the small but very annoying difference between the real versus knockoff G7X battery. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so comparing these two batteries side by side, they look pretty much identical. You can kind of tell that the Canon one is finished a little bit better. It's got the holographic logo for authenticity. Um, none of that really matters though, they both fit inside the camera, obviously they're both made to. Um, the only main difference, and it's a small but very annoying difference, is when you load the third party battery into the camera, you get a, you get a strange error message pop up. It says, battery communication error, does this battery display the Canon logo? So when you hit no, Canon does not guarantee the performance or safety of this battery. Continue use, yes. and. You can see it's working, it's working fine, but there's no battery indicator. So basically you have no idea when this battery is going to die. It means it's going to permanently be the backup to the original NB13L. And yeah, it's it doesn't sound like much, but it's, it really does annoy me. Performance wise, I seem to be getting the same battery life out of the two. They're both 1250 mAh, 3.6 volts. and I haven't noticed any difference. I've only had the camera for a couple of weeks. I've probably used it for an extended period of time for, I don't know, 10, 10 12 times I've shot with it properly. Um, yeah, it seems to be, I couldn't give you a time exactly, but they seem to both last a fair while considering uh, continuous use. I haven't noticed a the difference there, but the battery indicator is a big downer for me. You might also be thinking, what message does it give when you choose, when you lie to the camera and say that it is a Canon branded battery. So if I go ahead and turn it on with the fake battery inside, it's going to give me the same message. Does this battery display the Canon logo? If you click yes, it says battery may be counterfeit. Please call customer support, shutting off for your safety. So they know you're lying basically, you can't trick them. Um, I did try, but there you go, that's what happens. Thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you learned something, give me one of these bad boys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.